more on the TikTok of TikTok. Let's bring in Alex Sherman. He's technology reporter for CNBC.com. Alex, um, what is China, what is in China's ability uh, to do now to prevent a deal if that's what they're trying to do? So what we learned late Friday was that China is going to require uh, a license in order for ByteDance to, in fact, sell off the U.S. assets to TikTok. In other words, China would get a say uh, in whoever ByteDance sold uh, the U.S. TikTok assets to. What we know right now is that TikTok continues to try to get a deal done. Uh, we don't know the buyer yet, but I was told that there is a preferred buyer. So the two buyers here are Oracle or a combo bid from Microsoft and Walmart. Uh, initially, a deal was on track to be announced as soon as today. But the Chinese news uh, that China will, in essence, have a say in whether or not ByteDance can, in fact, move forward with this deal has at least put the brakes on a deal to be announced today. Uh, however, as you mentioned, a deal could be announced as soon as tomorrow which, which leads me to believe that the wheels are still moving here as TikTok and the buyers try to get even more information right. about what exactly China's interested in. Although, Alex, I mean, on some level, you would expect if the U.S. is going to come out and say, no, we are going to take control of U.S. TikTok, uh, TikTok in the U.S. now, that China would say, no, you're not. I mean, why not block this deal? Well, in essence, TikTok is caught in the middle here because there is a September 15th deadline where if the U.S. says yes and China says no, the U.S. can always come back and say, all right, we're banning TikTok in the U.S. on September 15th. And then ByteDance is put in a position where, with an indefinite ban, it could lose quite a bit of value as all of the various TikTok influencers go elsewhere, as people that work at the company are caught in the middle. I mean, TikTok has been fairly forward, from what I understand, with its employees saying, look, if we are banned in this country, you will still get paid. Don't abandon us. We hope this is temporary. But really, we don't know how long a ban would last. So there is a serious risk here from TikTok's standpoint that they don't want to get banned. And that's why last week they went ahead and, in fact, sued the U.S. government over that ban to try to at least delay it if they could, because TikTok itself and ByteDance realize that if there is a ban, it could lead, it could spiral down a road that would be uh, very bad for the company. So, Alex, uh, the, the, the deal gets uh, sort of snagged on the idea that the Chinese want, uh, want a say-so in the deal. But effectively, doesn't the U.S. government have exactly the same ability to veto a deal to any potential buyer, number one? And number two, where has the talk gone that the U.S. government might, might want to get a cut out of the deal, which is, well, let me just put it this way. If, if a previous Democratic administration had spoken that way about some multinational deal, I do not think that it would be well received. So to your first point, you're exactly right. Basically, the U.S. and China now, in essence, have the right to allow or not allow a deal. Uh, Microsoft and Oracle have been in talks with the U.S. government to try to get this deal done now for weeks. Uh, there is a reason that those two companies are, in fact, the two companies that are this far down the road, and that's that they have this secure data storage element to them, which theoretically will be OK for the U.S. government. And of course, Larry Ellison is close to the Trump administration. There have been stories about that. Microsoft has been working closely. They brought in Walmart. Walmart is a big, obviously, huge company in the U.S., red state appeal, et cetera. Um, so that's the first point. The second point on whether or not the Treasury will get a cut of this deal, we actually don't really know where that stands. I mean, there has been a lot of talk out of the administration in general about yeah, we want one, and then backtracking on this? No, that's more hyperbole. Maybe we don't want it. We don't know where that stands. Of course, there needs to actually be a deal before we even figure out what that means. My guess is on that one, there will be some sort of uh, you know twist of language around it. This is a taxable event. So in essence, I suppose the government could claim they are getting a slice of the deal because they'd be getting tax revenue out of it. Um, but yeah, it's a fair point. We really don't know uh, uh, where that stands.